Investing for Beginners. Tips to start building your wealth today. Welcome to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment and share our video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Investing may seem intimidating for beginners, but it's a critical step in building long-term wealth. Investing is a way to make your money work for you, instead of just sitting stagnant in a savings account. However, it's important to start with a solid understanding of the basics before diving in. In this video, we will provide tips and strategies for novice investors to start building their wealth today. From understanding investment options and setting investment goals to creating a diversified portfolio and managing risk, we will walk you through the essential steps of investing. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident and ready to start investing for a brighter financial future. 1. Why investing is important for building wealth. Investing is a vital component of building wealth for anyone who aims to grow their wealth and secure their financial future. By investing your money in different financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate, you can earn a return on your investment, which can help you to accumulate wealth over time. Investing allows you to make your money work for you by generating income and increasing its value through capital appreciation. It's a smart way to grow your wealth and achieve long-term financial goals such as paying for your children's education, buying a new home or preparing for retirement. In addition, investing helps you to stay ahead of inflation, which is the general rise in the prices of goods and services over time. When you invest your money and earn a return that exceeds the inflation rate, your purchasing power increases, meaning that you can buy more goods and services with the same amount of money. Investing also provides you with the opportunity to diversify your portfolio, which means spreading your investments across different asset classes, sectors, and geographical locations. This helps to minimize your risk exposure and allows you to benefit from the growth potential of different types of investments. Overall, investing is an essential tool for anyone who wants to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. By starting to invest today, you can take advantage of the power of compounding and grow your wealth over time. 2. Dispelling common misconceptions about investing. Investing is often seen as a complicated and risky business that only the wealthy can afford to participate in. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. There are many common misconceptions about investing that can deter people from getting started, but it's important to dispel these myths and understand the real facts. One common misconception is that you need a lot of money to start investing. While it's true that some investments require a significant amount of capital, there are many options available for beginners with smaller budgets. For example, you can start investing in stocks with as little as $50, or invest in a low-cost index fund with just a few hundred dollars. Another misconception is that investing is too risky and you're likely to lose all your money. While it's true that investing always carries some degree of risk, the key is to manage that risk by diversifying your investments and making informed decisions based on research and analysis. Finally, many people believe that investing is only for experts and requires a lot of specialized knowledge. In reality, there are many resources available to help beginners learn the basics of investing, from online courses and tutorials to books and seminars. By dispelling these common misconceptions about investing, you can start to see it as a viable option for building your wealth and securing your financial future. With a little research and careful planning, anyone can become a successful investor. 3. Understanding the basics of investing, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. When it comes to investing, there are three basic types of assets, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Each of these assets has its own unique characteristics and benefits, and it's important to understand them before you start investing. Stocks, also known as equities, are shares of ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you become a partial owner of that company, and your investment grows as the company grows. Stocks are a high-risk, high-reward investment, and their value can fluctuate rapidly. However, over the long term, stocks have historically provided higher returns than any other asset class. Bonds are essentially loans that you make to a government or corporation. When you buy a bond, you're lending money to the issuer, and they agree to pay you back with interest over a set period of time. Bonds are generally considered a lower risk investment than stocks, as their value tends to be more stable. However, they also offer lower returns. Mutual funds are a type of investment that pools money from multiple investors to buy a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. By investing in a mutual fund, you can benefit from the expertise of professional fund managers, who choose the investments and manage the portfolio. Mutual funds are a good option for beginner investors because they offer instant diversification, and you can start investing with a relatively small amount of money. Understanding the basics of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds is the first step in building a successful investment portfolio. 
By diversifying your investments across these asset classes, you can reduce your overall risk and maximize your potential returns over the long term. 4. How to start investing with small amounts of money. Investing is a great way to build your wealth over time, but it can be daunting if you're starting with small amounts of money. The good news is that it's still possible to start investing with limited funds. One of the best ways to start investing with small amounts of money is to use a robo-advisor. A robo-advisor is a digital platform that uses algorithms to manage your investments. They tend to have lower fees than traditional investment advisors and are a great option for beginners who don't have a lot of money to invest. Another option is to invest in index funds. Index funds are a type of mutual fund that tracks a specific market index, such as the S&P 500. They tend to have lower fees than other types of mutual funds and are a great option for beginners who want to start investing with small amounts of money. You can also start investing in individual stocks with small amounts of money. Some online brokerages, such as Robinhood, allow you to buy fractional shares of stocks. This means you can buy a portion of a share instead of having to buy a whole share, which can be expensive. Finally, one of the best ways to start investing with small amounts of money is to start now. Even if you can only invest a small amount each month, the power of compounding means that your investments will grow over time. By starting early and investing consistently, you can build wealth over time and achieve your financial goals. 5. Finding a brokerage firm that fits your needs and goals. When it comes to investing, finding the right brokerage firm is a crucial step towards building your wealth. A brokerage firm is a financial institution that facilitates the buying and selling of various financial securities, such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. They act as a middleman between you and the market, executing trades on your behalf. The first step in finding a brokerage firm that fits your needs and goals is to do your research. Look for a firm that has a good reputation and is well established in the industry. You'll want to find a brokerage that offers a range of investment options, such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, and has a user-friendly platform for executing trades. Another important factor to consider when choosing a brokerage is the fees they charge. Some brokers charge a flat fee per trade, while others charge a percentage of the total value of the trade. You'll want to choose a brokerage that offers competitive prices and doesn't charge excessive fees that eat into your investment gains. Finally, you'll want to consider the level of customer service offered by the brokerage. Look for a firm that has a knowledgeable and helpful support team that can answer your questions and provide guidance when needed. Investing can be a complex and intimidating process, but finding the right brokerage firm can make all the difference. Take the time to do your research and choose a brokerage that fits your needs and goals, and you'll be well on your way to building your wealth through investing. 7. How to research and evaluate individual stocks and mutual funds. When it comes to investing in individual stocks or mutual funds, researching and evaluating them is crucial to making informed decisions. The first step is to identify the companies or funds that you are interested in investing in. You can start by looking at the performance of the company or fund over the past few years, the market trends, and the financial health of the company. For individual stocks, you should carefully read the company's annual reports and financial statements, as well as any news articles or industry reports that may provide insights into the company's future prospects. You should also look at the company's management team and their track record to evaluate whether they have the experience and skills necessary to lead the company to success. For mutual funds, you should consider the fund's investment strategy and the performance of individual stocks within the fund. You should also look at the fees and expenses associated with the fund, as these can significantly impact your returns over time. In addition to researching the individual stocks or mutual funds, it's also important to evaluate your own risk tolerance and investment goals. Determine how much risk you are comfortable taking on and what your investment horizon is. This will help you choose the stocks or funds that align with your investment objectives. Remember, investing always comes with some degree of risk, but by doing your due diligence and making informed decisions, you can increase your chances off building wealth over time. We hope this beginner's video on investing has given you the confidence to start building your wealth. The world of investing can seem overwhelming, but with the tips provided in this video, you can get started on the right foot. Remember, investing is a long-term strategy, and it's important to do your research and be patient. With time and a smart approach, you can watch your investments grow and achieve your financial goals. Happy investing! Don't forget to like, comment and share our video, and also subscribe to our YouTube